one, two, three. They're still married. They're still married. They're still married. with Old Man Gaming. <laughs> Thanks, kiddo. Thanks. With me is... Misha! Melissa Van Slyvers. Great. Uh, okay, so we are in our uh, third... I don't, don't want to say final because we could come back to this one. But, yeah. Uh, we're doing 3D All-Stars. Now, Melissa has taken two struggled shots. <laughs> you guys have watched her take her first steps into 3D gaming. Now I'm going to show her... Mario Galaxy, which is... This is my all-time favorite Mario game What uh, system was this on? This was on the Wii, which is why you cannot play this on a controller. Because if you're playing this in handheld, all the motion controls are done with the touch screen. But if you're uh, not, you have oh. to do the motion controls with this. So if you're playing on the, the actual c console thing, you have to hit the buttons and touch the screen. It is it is difficult to get used to. Oof, uh, I don't know if I'd be able to do I, that. I didn't actually. It was it was difficult to get used to, but I actually kind of like it now. Really? Yeah, I, I prefer it to this where my stuff's just free roaming like this. So, basically, in this one, you see that little pointer. Mm -hmm. If that pointer, you collect these things called star bits. Okay. Anything that pointer goes over collects the star bit. Okay. okay. In addition to that, I can also shoot star bits, which I can't do here. Oh, I can. By pressing the right trigger. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's a little bit tricky. But watch this on the camera. I can just move the camera with this stick very easily. Hmm. The camera is much better in these games. You won't find it going behind anything. It definitely, right just off of this, seems a lot less choppy and like right. uh, easy to see what's going on. The biggest criticism that everybody's had, uh, including me... Uh, of this 3D All-Stars collection is that they did not remaster anything. This is basically the three games. They What they did was they um, added some better shading for the colors. That's it. It's. I thought I thought on the, um, that video thing that they did when they were telling you about all this stuff, they said that they remastered all these games. They, they remastered the original Mario's uh, for the original 2D All-Stars Mario's. Okay. And th that you can actually get for free in the Super Nintendo right. online thing. So, like, all the Mario's now in there. Right, I knew like that, them. but I thought that they said that they remastered these ones as well. They actually didn't. They up the graphics, uh -huh. which means that uh, we're going to go here. Uh, that basically, like I said, they added some shaders. It looks a little bit better. It's not quite as blocky, but basically you were playing the exact versions okay. that were on the original consoles. I'm gonna go after this one since I've got the other stars here. Top maniac in the trap, and and you're gonna get to see some, some some stuff that's gonna make your head spin. Uh, this I it's kind of why I want to play. I want to see your reaction to this. All right, here we go. So I'm on this platform, want right? Mm -hmm. Watch this. What the heck? Everything in Mario Galaxy is a planet. It has a gravitational pull. Okay. So, yeah. So if you want the feeling of vertigo, look no further than this game. So you're on the underside and you jumped up, which is down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. And all the controls basically stay the same. This, These things I hate. These things give me the most sense of vertigo. Those little pole things. Mm -hmm. Stella, can you move just a little bit? Sweetie, move your head. You're in front of the TV, Dad. I can't okay, see. I'm coming. Thank you, kiddo. Monkey. Okay, can you just not be in front of the TV? Can you get monkey? What are you doing with the hairbrush? You're brushing monkey's hair that's made out of a tissue that you... Okay. 
Starbits. Starbits. See how the pointer works for the star bits? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's tricky. I actually I actually kind of prefer the touchscreen, I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yeah, it's weird. I didn't think I would. I don't I don't think I'd be able to play like you are with holding the separate. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, like I said, I I, I prefer the touchscreen yeah. on that, because I don't like to play it this way. I like to play it with a full controller, but you can't do it with a full controller. So do you have that Ooh. sense of vertigo yet? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this game is like that, man. This game was real tricky when I bought it. I was like, wow, this is... It's one of the most innovative platformers in that you just... Any surface you can walk on. Hmm. I get to do this anti-gravity stuff, which is always fun. Oh, you control. Well, you see, I have to hit the switches. The certain switches change the, the polarity, and you can see it in the back, in the background, you see yeah. the arrows. Oh. There were no, um, I think you've got to go on that box, the blazing one. Oh! Yeah, I got burned hard there. Jumping is not your forte, even in this game. Not, it's not. I, it's one of the things I like about this game is the jumping isn't as severe. It's more like figuring stuff out because uh, the jumping, everything has a. I mean, there's plenty of jumping scenes. Obviously, I'm in a jumping scene. Oh, oh. Ow! Oof! 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 oof. Ah! <laughs> uh, like, obviously there's jumping in it, right. but uh, um, everything kind of has its own polarity, so it's a little bit more like figuring out how to do something and less about Don't worry. twitch jumping reflexes, you know? Right. This is tricky, because you move into this, and it moves you down. And move back up to there. <laughs> oh my. Yeah! Now you're seeing it. Yes, you got to be careful, because you got to stay low enough to stay attached yeah. to the roof. It's tricky. Yeah, I've been wanting to play this in front of you for a while because I thought it'd kind of blow your mind. Um, like, Sunshine is good. Sunshine's really good. Um, oh! Oh no. Stupid Goomba! Um, you might need that, that box. That box is Star Bits. I've gotten it before. Oh, is it? Yeah, I did this mission once before when I was testing the capture card. Oh, okay. But I didn't actually complete the mission, but I got that far. Oh, I screwed that up hardcore. Stop running, Mario! Uh, oh. How did that, how'd you manage yeah, that? I don't know, I am not doing well here. No! I'm dead! Too Burned to bad. death. Burned to death. Um. Man, I was talking about something that I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. I'm pretty sure I lost my train of thought by dying, so... Definitely not on you. Just... Just try with the same side. See if I can cheat this side. I... Oh, come on! I was within it! <laughs> Back door! Back door? What? What? You're weird, kid. Yeah. <laughs> I, am, I am weird, but you're weird, too. How do you turn the switch on? You just hit it with your oh. spin attack. They, they actually stopped doing the like full combo thing. And he just has like a spin attack. Everything else is basically the same, though. Hmm. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Ah! Yeah, buddy! I made it. This one's hard because these guys crush it. Burn up, 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 
Is this like the final boss? No. I haven't gotten to the boss yet. This is a boss stage though, so you're probably gonna see a boss. I just have to jump on his head to use him as a springboard to get to that star boost. This is crazy to yeah. me. That, like, I played, I think, the first Super Mario Brothers like two days ago. Right. Like that it went from that to this. Right, right. They they really what's really amazing is they have really like kind of innovated. They've kind of like been like the forefront. I mean, as much as I hate to give Nintendo that credit. Um, they've been at the forefront of like gaming for some time. You have to knock the tops in and then it shorts it out. Right. And then it sucks me in there. And then I gotta hit that. And then I fly to the air. As stuff explodes behind me. Yeah, I did it! You did it? What did you do? Control. 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 See, now we're gonna run back up onto the top. Oh man, that's a bad place for that. Ooh! Ooh, a little shop guy. Let's talk to him. So, Lumen Lee Luma Lop, uh, welcome to the Luma Shop. Can I sell you some something helpful for only thirty star bits? Yes. Which one will it be? I want that super health. Stella, get out of there! Stella, get out of there! No, 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 no! Stella, stop, please. I want that profit. I want that No. Oh my gosh. The controller. Leave Stella, alone. you Come can't on. go back there. You're gonna mess up the game. Whole capture card could have gotten messed up there, kiddo. When Daddy's done, when we're done recording, you and Mommy can play with the controller, okay? We'll test out a game. Stella can play. Yeah. You know what's sad about Stella? It's like, she actually, like, if I could find a game that Coco, was just... stop licking my feet, weirdo. That was just her, and she could just, like, jump around and, and interact with things without any purpose or goal, she would love it. I, I put on Spirit Fair for the other day, and the problem with Spirit Fair is there is a goal to it, but like she would just, she was just jumping back and forth and swimming in the lake, and she was just having so much fun. But like, you can't keep doing it because you have to start tending to animals and tending to crops and stuff like that. Right. But like, I wish there was a game where we just had stuff you could interact with, but there was no consequence or anything, because she would just love it. Well, if anybody has any recommendations for anything, yeah, like that. yeah, definitely. I don't, I don't know any offhand. She's four. Right, so now we got a boss. Oh, that doesn't work. I think I just got jumped on his head. Oh, oh. It's okay. I can get some points. You have to jump on him. That's it. Even I could do that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, do I have to hit him into the thing? Yeah. Oh, is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's it. The mechanic. I always teach the mechanic. Oh. What are those two little yellow thingies? Are They're going to just knock me around and be really irritating. They're bad guys. Oh, okay. Why can't you just run and collect those things that come out? You can. It's just easier to hit them with the point. I feel like that was a gimmick that they added in just because it was on the Wii. Oh, it definitely was. It definitely was. Like, it's not... I feel like it could have been without it, too. I mean, there is a lot of stuff that you have to do with the star bits. But, like, definitely it was like, we're on a Wii, how do we do that? It's actually a way to play two-player, where, like, the second player just controls the player and shooting star bits. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. This is right there, let's see. Ah, gotcha. Boom! Be done! Be done, son! <laughs> be done! It's 14, I think, we're at. 14 and a half, yeah. 14 and a half minutes, and I got me a power star. 
But the same mechanic is through all of these, like since that Power Star thing. Mm. Like in this, as you collect Power Stars, more galaxies open up. Okay. And then like you can go back to old galaxies to get new powers, uh, new Power Stars. Gotcha. What's fun too is like they have these comets in this game, like three different types of comets. And when the comet is above a level, you can do, uh, it, it's, it turns into a different kind of challenge. It gives you a whole nother star. Hmm. Yes, I will be saving my game. Do not press the power button. I will not press the power button, I promise. Hey Stella, can you not put that in your mouth? You can play with it, just please don't put it in your mouth, okay? See? Oh, there's a comet right there. Daredevil comet in orbit. I don't know what a daredevil comet is, so let's just try it. We only got a couple minutes left, yeah. right? Fly to this galaxy! Give me one of them comets! They're called prankster comets. This is alright. Yeah. They're like grasp of space in this. It's just like. Just gravity. Everything else is like. <laughs> there's no asphyxiation. Like. Nobody's imploding or exploding. <laughs> I do not know what. I do not know what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh, I only have one life. I have to beat him with one health. Oh, that's. That's not something. So this is going to be quick. Yeah, this is going to be... I don't even know if I'll last the six minutes. Isn't this the same place you just worked? Yeah, it is. Like I said, you go back and do the same thing over and over and over again in different ways to get different stars. Hmm. So like this Daredevil comment means i got to do this with only one health to try and... Oh, that's just star. part of the challenge. Yeah, it's yeah, not that it's you were comment. down to just one. Right, right. I see. I don't know how I feel about that being the game. Like, you have to redo the same levels. Dead. Dead. Yeah, but what's cool about it, and you didn't really get a chance to really <laughs> notice this, is that when you go back in... Because I failed. Miserably. Like, this one is a repeat, obviously, because right. of the comet. However, when you go back in, like, the planets come at you in a different order and different stuff happens. Like, that's what's, that's what's really interesting... And I want to see how you react to that, because it's kind of like they redo, um, like everything gets a different way of doing stuff. So like, okay. you start at the same point, but the same point might have different enemies in it. And like, each time through, each time you're going for a star, it kind of changes the way the level's laid out. You also land on different planets than you did before, like, the courses change, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like the same level every time. Right. So that's not a tissue. If you need to blow, get a tissue. Alright, one hit. It's a good start. Good start, All right? Good start. That's two. What? Oh. Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again, top maniac. Please stop rubbing that on your face. You're gonna end up with a terrible rash, and we're not gonna be able to figure out why. It's gonna be because you rab rubbed Ray. styro yeah, rabbed <laughs> you rabbed styrofoam all over your face from China. Let's do this, let's do this. This is the one. This is the one. Alright, that's one. Stella, I'm serious. I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. Ooh, I'm gonna scoop that out. Oh! That's two! That's two! Ooh, you got a one up. Oh. Oh, but that just goes into your, like, total lives. That doesn't go into, like, your one life that you have to do this. Oh! Oh! Success! Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Daredevil yeah. Star! What can I say? Yeah. That's the big Bad dub. Star. That's the big dub right there. I want to I wanna end on that one. That's it. We're That's a little cool. bit early. I don't even care. That's how we're <laughs> ending that. Me looking like a BA. Yes, I want to save my game. I did the Daredevil Star. All right, so yeah, that's Mario Galaxy. What do you think about that? I think it's cool. I think it looks a lot easier 
to like see things yes. than uh, yes. the 64. I think I'm gonna take a bit to get used to this whole 3D thing. You are like and it's. That's why I've been very, very. I'm, I'm kind of glad we got to do it on the show because I've been very interested to see how you deal with the 3D. I think personally, what if you if you try it? I don't know if you're gonna try it before. You, like I know you're kind of weird completionist where you want to complete everything in a game before you move on. Right. These games just. I mean, they are meant to do that, but there's just so much more after the story. Right. Like, stars-wise, that... I, I, I don't think, care about the story. I like, think if you end up been... playing all three of them, you will enjoy Mario Sunshine the best. I actually... I think I want to just try Sunshine and just, like, play with it should. and see. I really think you should. Because Mario Sunshine... Okay, so, like... The only thing you're going to hate is, like, the me mechanics of attacking are completely different from both of these games. Because everything is done with, like, a water gun on your back. Oh. Uh, which is a little frustrating, but, like, you don't have the crappy camera of the 64. You don't have the weird uh, uh, motion controls or right. walking around upside down half the game of this one. I think what video game one. system was Sunshine from? Sunshine was the GameCube. So you had oh. the 64 was Mario 64, obviously. Then the GameCube was Mario Sunshine, and then the Wii was Mario Galaxy. Wasn't there a Mario game that was just for one of the handheld, like yes. the DS or yeah, whatever? Yeah, yeah. What was that? I mean, there was a lot of them, but uh, one you're probably thinking of is Wii U. Mario Wii U. It wasn't for the DS, but it was for Mario No, Wii I was thinking before the Wii, like... Like, after a Game Boy, whatever became after a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance? You know, probably... Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Probably, the, there's. I'm sure there's a Mario game. I don't know offhand. Mm -hmm. I was just curious if any of those were on here. Uh, I am sure they probably all are at this point. I, Like I said, I know Mario, uh, Mario 3D All-Stars is coming, which I'm pretty sure that was the Wii U Mario. Um, which that camera is amazing. Like really? that camera is great. It's very far away, and it's a little bit more of a linear sort of game. I I honestly think that one you'll enjoy more than these three, but that one's a little bit later. Uh, and then there's the uh, the Mario. Uh, there's also Mario Mario U. Is it Mario U or Mario Wii U or Mario? I don't know. There was one that they made that's that's two D. It oh, went really? back to 2D, and a lot of the stuff that you're like, I don't know what this is in Mario Maker, came from that. Okay. And that was the one where you could do, it was 2D, but it was co-op, so you could play with somebody and like knock them off cliffs, bounce off huh. their heads, like all sorts of crazy weird stuff. That one is on Switch too. Pretty sure that's 60 bucks too though. Like, right. They never go down in price, but... All right, so there you go, everybody. You got to see Melissa's first foyer into 3D Mario. Um, foyer? Fo foray. Foray. Foyer is like the landing. Aw, and she got to correct me. It's been a high point for Melissa today. <laughs> Um, so anyway, if you guys want to talk to us, we're at Facebook at Old Man Gaming DH on Twitter at Old Man Gaming Nine. You can join our Discord. The link is in the description below, where you can influence this and all of our shows from there. And I do just want to say to you guys, it's wonderful to be back. I love doing this show with Melissa. I do not know what we're gonna do next week, but we now have the capability to capture on a Switch, so we, we might can stick to Switch games. Technically, capture on anything with this thing. This is true. Technically, but I mean, like, honestly, we could already capture on everything else in the house. Right, I know. I but, just was saying. But yeah, we can capture. I mean, if we got some crazy game system, we could capture on. It. That is true. That is true. We, we don't. Honestly, we could probably capture on an Atari if we had one. What's really exciting about this, and I've been. <laughs> No. Well, maybe. We need an HDMI like setup adapting. for the Atari. Uh, I bet you there's an Atari in my dad's garage. I have been... That's probably worth a ton of money. So I bet you it's there. Uh, he never threw anything away. Um, I, what is cool is I've been toying around with... I, I keep teasing this to the OMG audience uh, that I am going to do a video journal and slowly kind of 
uh, rebuild my Dreamcast and Dreamcast collection, mm -hmm. uh, which I have the Dreamcast, I have a controller, a memory card, and the power supply for it. I don't have, I don't have the AV cables, but that would be useless at this point. Anyway, I would need an HDMI adapter for the Dreamcast. We could actually capture on the capture card, capture Dreamcast well, what stuff. What is Dreamcast? Is that like Sony or Nintendo? Sega. Or it was Sega's Sega. last system okay. before they stopped making systems and went just to har just to. Um, Are software. any of the Sega games on um, on Switch or Xbox yeah. like Sonic? Oh yeah, oh yeah. For real? Yeah, Sega started making software, so they kind of like put it on any out. platform. Yeah, so like you can you can get them anywhere. Actually, I almost bought Sonic Two on the PC the other day because it was only four ninety nine on Switch. On Switch. On on, I'm sorry, on PC, on Steam. Okay. Let's say on Steam. It was only four ninety nine on Steam. I almost bought that for us because one thing. I'm sorry, guys. You've been watching me just stand here for a while while we talk. But uh, um, basically, we've been running out of things to play that are co op and stuff like that. So I've been kind of frantically searching for things. Plus, Melissa, you guys know by now, has very specific tastes and very specific <laughs> abilities to gaming. So there are certain things that I like. I can't just boot up Halo. And have her play co-op with me. Like we, I have to find specific Melissa-friendly games to play. Uh, that has been a relatively difficult chore. Uh, so I have been trying to find things that would work. She also <laughs> refuses to play Risk, even though that game is free, free to play on the PC and a board game that we could play. But she just refuses to play Risk. I didn't refuse. I said I would do it. I mean, and I said it with about that same inflection. <laughs> It's a simple board game we could play and get three episodes out of at least. So Mermaid Monkey. Hi, Mermaid Monkey. So Sonic 2 was a, was a possibility that I was thinking about. Okay. We um, can also do Risk. I mean, <laughs> we're probably going to because I'm running out of stuff is what it is. And, but, but this, this makes it, yeah. yeah, this makes it easier. Well, and if anybody has any recommendations, yeah. I'm not going to go out and spend $60 on a game just for the show, but if especially if it's one that's free. Right. Like, right. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, I think that there are definitely some games that are probably $60 that we're going to buy eventually anyway on this system right. that we could get like like Mario Odyssey, we're eventually going to get that. I mean, it's a Mario game. <laughs> so, but like I don't want to spend sixty dollars for the show, but Switch is much more co-op friendly, right. local co-op friendly. So there, I can already think of like four games that we could play on this together. Yeah. So. All right, so I'm definitely gonna end the show now. Sorry guys, we kind of prattled on to Mario just sitting there for a while, but uh, I've already done the end amble. So just like us, subscribe us, and share us. And if you keep watching and listening, we'll keep making them. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. There. Yeah.